Welcome back to Way of the Wrench, you guys, and on today's very special episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to change out your valve stems. And I'm gonna show you how to do that without any special tools, any kind of machines, and in a trick to make sure that you don't have to put this back on a balancer when you're done. So, stay tuned. All right, so now why would you be changing your valve stem? Well, these get old and every now and then they get brittle and they start to leak out the sides or even just fall right off and complete loss of air in your tire. If that happens, you gotta change them. But the most convenient time to change these is put brand new ones in whenever you're putting brand new tires and that way you'll never have one of these fail. In order to be able to do this, you actually have to take the wheel and tire off the vehicle, so go ahead and do that to your state. All right, now as for tools and what you're gonna need to be able to do this job, I recommend a pair of safety glasses because we are dealing with compressed air. You're gonna want a valve core removing tool. It's about five or 10 bucks. You're gonna want a valve stem installing tool. It's about $10. A pair of cutoff pliers or a box cutter or a razor blade, something to be able to cut off the old valve stem to yank out. Eventually you're gonna want a new valve stem, which you're going to use the old one to take to your parts store to get a new one. You're gonna want a piece of chalk. We'll talk about that later. Some other useful things is uh, a cloth and some scraps of wood, uh, which will all make sense in a bit. All right, step one, let's get the air out of the tire. So take off your dust cap, put it to the side, take your valve core removing tool, spin it until it drops down and meshes with the valve core. Lefty loosey, counterclockwise, until it wants to kick out. And then when it kicks out, grab it so you don't lose it. And let the air go out. Now, not to get too ahead of ourselves, we don't want to have to rebalance this wheel assembly because the tire has moved away from where the rim was. So take a piece of chalk and mark it on the tire really well and on the rim, somewhere where it's not just gonna get wiped off. And we're gonna use these to align the tire and the rim when we go to put it back together. And uh, if you can line them up exactly, there shouldn't be any uh, balance issues and it's exactly how it was before. Now, in order to be able to get this old one out and the new one in, we actually have to have the tire separated from the rim a bit. We don't have to take the whole thing completely off, but we do need access in here behind this valve stem. So we have to break the tire bead. Now, if you have a tire changer, go ahead and use that, but I'm gonna show you today that you don't need one. But for right now, we need to be concerned that when we do break the tire bead, that it is 90 degrees from our valve stem. That way we don't bust anything off like a TPMS sensor. So we can break here and here, and we only have to do the one side because we only have to access it here. The next step is breaking the bead of the tire from the rim. And if you don't have a tire changer, here's your DIY tip of the day. If you have another vehicle or you have a buddy's vehicle, you can actually use the weight of the vehicle to break the bead for you. So just make sure that your valve stem is 90 degrees from where you're going to drive the vehicle up onto the wheels tire, onto the rubber. And um, we're just going far enough to break that tire from the rim. Not a bad idea to have someone help you doing this, but if there is someone helping you, make sure their hands are nowhere near this, and all they're doing is help guide the tire uh, if it gets off track and telling you when to start or stop. But you can also do this solo, just take your time and take a look. You just have to go enough until the tire breaks the beam. Pop naturally, just stand on the edge of it and give it a little bit extra help. That'll make it work. Now in this case, all I had to do is break the one side and I've got it free enough that I can get to the back side of this valve stem so I don't have to continue breaking any more beads. And um, keep in mind, I'm using a steel rim here. I don't really care if it gets a little scuff and scratch and it even is the back side if that so um, I'm not worried, but if you've got nicer rims, possibly put a towel down or some cardboard, that way you're not scuffing up your rims. Okay, so now that you can actually pull this tire away from the rim, you wanna take a look inside, and if you see basically this, kind of like a round rubber knob, then it's just a regular valve stem, you're good to go, we'll just change it out. 
However, if you push this back and you start seeing something like this, big plastic piece on the back, that's a TPMS sensor, so this has become a little bit more of a costly job and you're gonna have to replace a TPMS sensor. If you haven't already, watch our TPMS videos for help with that. Now, in this case, we just have a regular TPMS sensor, so, and this one isn't ready to go. Um, let's just say it's old and aged out and we're putting new tires on. So, you take your razor blade or your box cutter, Watch your fingers never cut towards them. And uh, we need to cut off that little round rubber lump so this valve stem comes out. If you have trouble getting in there and you could use some more space, this is where that chunk of wood, push down as hard as you can, stick a chunk of wood in there and that'll give you a little bit more room to work. And then you kind of don't want that rubber inside the tire rolling around for the rest of the day. So we're going to take a pair of pliers and just basically cut or rip off that so it doesn't go inside your tire. Now at this point, this should basically just pull out and there's your broken stem. You're going to take this to your local parts store. I'd go to Lordco or Napa around here and um, take this so that you can get appropriate sized valve stem. Now what's really important is the diameter right next to that top round cap. That diameter has to match so that way it plugs the hole and doesn't leak. And really you want to have about the same length. You don't want to have something way too short or way too long that's going in to replace it. Now once you got your brand new one from the store, what you're going to do is you're going to take the dust cap off and you got to put it in to the rim from the inside. Once you've got a little bit of it sticking out through the rim, you're going to take your valve stem installer tool and that threads right down onto where that dust cap goes. So thread that on. Now the way this works is you basically just put this against the wheel rim and this acts like a lever and when you pull down on it, it'll pry up and pull in that new valve stem into place and you keep going until it kind of pops into that little smaller diameter just before pulling the rubber head through. And if you got some nice rims, you don't want to scratch them up. That's what the rag was for. So I'll just put it like that. Or you can use a piece of wood, whatever you're comfortable with. And simply just pull up. And it should make kind of like a pop noise and then feel pretty secure. And you can always just double check to see it went in. In this case, it still actually has to go some more. And right there. Check underneath here to make sure that the head is sitting flush and then unscrew the tool. Don't forget your dust cap. We'll just put it on for right now so we don't lose it. Take your wood out and let's go put some air on this guy. All right, now all we gotta do is put air back in here and make sure it seals up. So uh, if you're not sure what your tire pressure is, open up your driver's side door and on the end of the door or in the door jam should be a decal that states in how many PSI it should be. So for this vehicle, we're gonna go 32. Now it's a really common problem when you go to put air in here, there's too big of a gap somewhere here and all that air is just escaping rather than making the tire expand out and seal and come up to pressure. So what you do there is you put your hand along, try to find where the biggest leak is and the best thing you can do is basically just push against the tire and the rim to get that gap to kind of close up and it doesn't have to be perfect but just as much as that air is can be stopped and then as soon as it starts to move then you know you've made your seal and you just keep going. There we go, we're moving here. Okay, that loud pop was the seal, so now we just gotta go to pressure. All right, there we go. 
tire's all done. I don't know if you noticed that our chalk line on our tire and our wheel is right in line. So whatever balance this wheel had before, it's got the same balance. So you shouldn't have to use a tire balancer. Oh snap! There goes another video dropped by Dr. J and Wear the Wrench. This time on how to change out your valve stems without all the fancy tools and equipment that a lot of people don't have. Just that fancy kind of tips and tricks that you learn from generations passed down. Um, special shout out to Shrouder for his comment. Uh, I gotta watch, make sure these videos don't get too highbrow on you. Uh, this video and channel is for the DIYer at home so that you guys can do this, save money, get excited about cars and um, learn and do more. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put it down in the section down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And if you'd like to know what's going on behind the scenes, you can always follow us at Way of the Ranch on Instagram. And until next time, peace.